everybody. How y'all doing? Are you okay? Okay? In your neck, are you? Let me dry them up. Too cool. Now go too deep, you know. Yeah, yeah, fair watch you, you know. Our troops, see that? Apple cider vinegar and our troops. Come up at right, make them get saturated in the gravy and all of that. On today's episode of the Jamaican Cooking Journey, I'll be sharing with you how to make round stew snapper fish. You know, it's coming on to the Lent, and uh, in fact, today is the first day of Lent, and you know, people are like, you know, cutting out a lot of meat, some are going fish vegetable and stuff like that so I've got here some fish snapper not the biggest medium-sized one I've cleaned them I've dressed them up and also I have given them a little core I've also dried them okay my seasonings for them will be just salt and pepper brown stew snapper fish I'll be browning them off very timely hence making them firm to take the stew down process now these are what I'll be using to make my gravy. I'll be using celery, some celery, some scallions, not the freshest of scallions, but if you get fresher ones, onions, of course. I'll be using some tomatoes, scotch bonnet pepper, and I'll be putting a few slices of bell peppers, and of course, some um, fresh thyme. I'll also be using a few allspice seeds. And hence we have three pegs of smashed, rinse and dried garlic i have got my oil over here being preheated very low so i'm gonna turn my flame right flame right up now and i'll be using them to infuse the oil i want that garlic flavor but i won't let them get burned now what i'm going to be doing i'll be um using the salt and pepper see i've poured my fish they are not big so i've just given them one core and i just score them right to here i don't go to the bone Mm -hmm. So, I'll be doing them single. I'm not going to rub them up or anything. I'll show you how I'll apply the salt and black pepper. And I'm going to lay them down in a plate or on something flat. I'll do one for you. And whilst the, the garlic gets fried off, infuses the oil. My hands are clean. They should be once you come to the kitchen. I'm going to take them, mix up my salt and my refined black pepper. If you use other seasons right here, you can go ahead and add them. But I want you to bear in mind that if you, you too much overpower this with a lot of these seasonings that has a lot of grains, you'll find yourself getting a lot of burn in the bottom of the your, your frying pan, your skillet or whatever. Because you want some of this fish oil when it's finished fried to saute saute these stuff to get it to come to a gravy to stew it down into. so i'm gonna be just doing it like this opening inside here remember inside here must be clean dried down in the head you hold it like this yeah and you just gently gently remember that these this called fish and snapper is one of those fish that you can also really rely on to when they're brown they are still firm so this is how you season it i'll go remove my garlic from my oil i don't want to get too burned and then i return to you so my garlic i don't leave it to burn in the oil this is just how i want it so it has already seasoned the oil so i'm gonna lay my first bit right down right there and it's gonna be frying on the medium patient same treatment i'm gonna do two each time because of the pot bear in mind that you need to use a pot that doesn't stick some pots they really love to stick it doesn't matter and you don't want to use too much oil that you deep fry them you don't really need to deep fry so as soon as you like you know hold your hand high make sure it goes down into the core you just gently careful that you don't stick yourself i am going to put the second one and i'm going to be putting them like this i put the tail here oh no my thing it's going to know my thing this is 
the place of that which I'll try them. I'll try them until they are ready to turn. It's gonna be really crispy, yet firm on the side that I'll be turning from both sides. When they are finished frying, they should be firm, crispy, and nice. I'll catch you back at that point. Okay, now family, these are my snapper fish all fried off. Okay, so let us turn now to gravy down these fish. These are what I have. I have some chopped tomatoes, and as you can see, I did add a about a half or three quarter of a tablespoon of brown sugar. No, this is optional, but I put it because it helps to balance out all the flavors of the vinegar, the pepper, and all of them something there. That is a little acid. Mm? So, I just put it here. Because remember, if you use ketchup or so, the ketchup has a little sweetness to it. So, I, on the other hand over here, I have, this is the oil that we fried it in, but I did it in Jesse, okay? So, now I have removed. Jesse is the perfect person to fry but not the perfect praise person to gravy down in because of all the because of the shape of the bottom now this is a wide skillet so i'm going to be using this so the very first thing i'm going to be putting in here i have some celery and green thyme and i'm going to put it out in here just to start out the gravy down process my three um garlic that i used to flavor the oil i'm going to be putting them in there as well get my flame up and we are gonna be starting this gravy in the own process this is what is gonna flavor the oil starting out for me alongside with a few pieces of scallion and this should be the greener ones but this is how we have started the flavors are coming out don't let them burn now is the time for your tomatoes you want the tomatoes in you can also put in your all spice or your pimento seeds also you are going to put in your scotch bonnet pepper this thing needs scotch bonnet as much as you can get or as, as much as you can and those are what we are putting in and we are going to stew them down get the tomato Go right through, get them all stewed. Now, we did have a little left back from Jesse. The flavor, we are using all the flavors from the oil. So, we add this that we use to get up those little flavors in the bottom there, and we are throwing it in there. Now, at this point, you want to take care that you have something, you know, these fish flavors, you have something, you know to counteract them in your kitchen preventing your drapes and everything from absorbing them let us cover this get it done to a little medium we're going to stew down our tomatoes for about seven minutes getting your flame down and we soon come tomatoes are breaking down yeah and it's almost stick for it so you see that red really color make sure hot water this is what you want to throw about half a cup or three quarters of a cup get your flame down now mm -hmm. right now you want to put a little soy sauce it's too high let's get our flame down yeah a little soy sauce maybe about a tablespoonful yeah i'm using apple cider vinegar about one tablespoon too or if you want to use the white vinegar at this point if you are somebody that uses fish seasoning on all of that you can add it this is a little smoked paprika with a little sweet chili and i'm adding that in there i'm gonna let this come back bring it to a boil i want to remove the thyme at this point but sometimes the thyme can be a bit annoying when we are at this point hmm? so I'm moving my I'm removing my time and so forth on this low eat you want to test right now if you have got 
right flavor, salt, scotch bunny taste, vinegar taste, everything. You want to taste now if your flavors are balanced out. I think I need a little salt. Putting a little salt in, careful. With your measurements, my scotch bunny top kick. Yeah, it should be. Now, at this point, you want to use your hand, you use your hand. Because you can use your hand. You want to put your fish in. And I like to put my fish tail, head, tail, head. You know that long time about me, say, I saw me like it. Mm? Head and tail, I saw me put my one them all the way. And if you want to use your hand, you can use your hand too. So, tail, head. And I use this because I know that it would accommodate all these four fish. Get your flame down now to the lowest. And you want to start spooning this gravy all on top of them. All on top of them. Okay? You want to spoon it. If you want to add a little piece of butter for more flavoring, you can do that. Hmm? Yeah, spoon your gravy on top you're gonna stew this down spoon your gravy on top okay make sure these stop you don't have to turn if you want to turn you can you just make sure say so you spoon your gravy them right in yeah and all oh, i look nice you can turn they are fairly firm so you can turn them if you want to turn them yep no no hard feeling in that I'm gonna show you that you can turn if you want to. Yes, you can because they are firm. Firm, they are holding up. And Dad, yes, no. We are gonna be adding onion rings, and I'm gonna be adding them just in no particular way on top of the fish, and I'm gonna add also a few rings of bell peppers. You can use your different color. Yeah, I don't really want to go too much with the bell pepper because the flavor of them is so strong. But you know, we have one. We did it. You know what I'm going to do right now? I'm going to continue spooning this. So these bell peppers and these onion rings can get a taste away down in at the bottom. Hmm? I'm going to do this and show you what I'm going to do next. Just a little extra gig of black pepper. Not too much because you know we have the something there already yeah a little more spooning on of this look at this look at this in the bottom from all angles that you can you can possibly get it you take it up we have got everything here the last of it you want to do you want to cover five minutes and when we return your onion rings they should be well saturated in this flavor. In this flavor, your fish should have absorbed all of that niceness in that gravy. And you know what's happening? We're going to be plating some just for you. From my kitchen to yours, from my Jamaican kitchen to your family table, to your palate, and most of all to your stomach, it is brown stew chicken done just for you. We did it for you. You just use the gravy and put it on top of the fish that it saturates the fish as you as you know the plate is being served. It keeps the fish moist. Please do enjoy. Now, if you have now, if you have liked this video, all I have of you is to give me a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed. To the Jamaican cooking journey when you do subscribe hit the notification bell press the option that says all how are you going to be notified if you don't do that thanks for the love thanks for the support in the description of this and all my other videos and lives there will be the info to all that you would like for to get on to me <coughs> email paypal business number for zoom class all those patreon link they will be there Thanks for the love. Thanks for the support. Remember to be you, do you. Most of all, love you.
a brown stew fish platter with some raw vegetables.